Hey, folks, welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network podcast. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Are you looking for pro wrestling apparel? Then you need to head on over to ringloyals.com. Ringloyals.com. They got t shirts, they got hoodies, they got accessories. Ringloyals.com, your wrestling apparel company. Head on over there, ringloyals.com. Before I get started, I just want to give a shout out to our latest subscriber to our YouTube channel. Pavel Gaborik, thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Pavel Gaborik, thank you so much for subscribing to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. I'm very grateful, very appreciative. Okay, so Impact Wrestling, the, today's episode has come and gone, and we had a lot of things happen in the episode. Jay White offering Chris Bay a spot in Bullet Club. Uh, Deanna Perrazzo accepts Mickey James' invitation to NWA Empower That Pay-Per-View. Jay White, again, battles the, the members of the Bullet Club. Sorry, Carl uh, Anderson, Luke Gallows, um, the Good Brothers. He battles them in the ring. Chris Bay comes out makes the save. Uh, we had a great main event, a great main event. The knockouts, uh, tag team titles on the line as uh, Decay, uh, Havoc, and Rosemary uh, successfully defended the titles against Kara Hogan and Tasha Steeles. Lots of great stuff happening. Lots of great stuff happening on Impact Wrestling, but the one moment, the one moment that I feel was the best moment of the night was a holy crap moment for me, was a moment that made me mark out like a like a little kid, <laughs> like like uh, like 10 year old Lewis Carlin seeing Bruno San Martino for the first time. I, I marked out big time. It's the biggest I've marked out in a while. And there's the moments was a very quick moment is when Kenny Omega was face to face with Josh Alexander, the Impact Wrestling World Champion, World Champion Kenny Omega, face to face with X Division Champion Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander doing an interview, um, explaining on explaining what's next for Josh Alexander. Omega comes walking through the door. The door bumps into Josh Alexander. They're face to face. Kenny Omega mocks. Josh Alexander. Kenny Omega says, "Oh, you're the X Division guy. Like, oh, you're not that important. You're just the X Division guy." And uh, Josh Alexander gives him like a death stare. This was a holy crap moment. This tease of a match between Kenny Omega and Josh Alexander is a match that I've wanted to see for quite some time. And it is going to be absolutely fantastic. I feel it that this match is going to happen. I'm thinking that this match is going to happen at Bound for Glory. I'm thinking, I don't know if it's going to be an option C uh, cash-in. I don't know if they're just going to make the match. Um, maybe both titles will be on the line. Um, Josh Alexander against Kenny Omega. I really think that Josh Alexander will be the one to take the title from Kenny Omega. I think they're building up towards that. I, I really hope we have a good build. Now, the match has, there's no match, has, no match has been announced yet. So... In case there is a match announced, and I have a really good feeling that there's going to be, I, I don't know why they would tease a, a match. I don't know why they would have a little face-to-face -face, uh, between Omega and Josh Alexander if they weren't thinking about building up to a match. And, and when they do build up to that match, I really hope it's a good build. I really feel it's going to be a good build. And because I, I know Josh Alexander against Kenny Omega will be an absolutely fantastic match. It'll be an absolute... Dave Meltzer will, would... Dave Meltzer, his, his mouth would be wide open for the entire match, and he might, he might give it six stars. That's how good the match is. I'm not going to put pressure on Josh Alexander or Guinea Omega, but I, <laughs> but I really think, I really, I mean, they're, they're not worried about pressure, but uh, I really think um, that the two can have an absolutely fantastic match. And please let them be building up to that. Let that match be announced. Bound for Glory will be a great place for Kenny Omega to defend the Impact Wrestling World title against Josh Alexander. Even if, you know, Kenny Omega is going to say, you, you have to go through the Good Brothers first. You have to earn the shot. You're just the exhibition champion. Because um, he was kind of mocking him, like I said, um, when they end during the face-to-face -face, um, on the episode today. But even if, like, he has to go through Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows to get a shot, that would be great. Just let him, let you know, and let Josh Alexander show up in AEW Dynamite. He's got a good buddy there. He's got a great buddy there, Ethan Page. Let him show up on, on AEW Dynamite. And when, when I'm not going to say if, I'm going to say when, because I, 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 um, I have a really good feeling that this is the direction they're going. When, when, we're, when they announce the match, 
when we're when we're one hundred percent certain that it's going to be a match between Josh Alexander and Kenny Omega at Bound for Glory, let him show up at AEW. Let him take the fight to Kenny Omega on Kenny Omega's show, AEW Dynamite. Let him let Josh Alexander show up there again. He's got a great friend that works there now, Ethan Page. He's got backup. You know, have have Ethan Page being attacked by by Kenny Omega or something, and Josh Alexander comes to his aid. The crowd would just pop for that, man. The crowd would just pop. Now, again, this is me speculating. You know, I don't have any inside news or anything. I'm just pure, pure speculation. But that, that I don't think they're going to have a face to face meeting. I don't think they're going to be face to face on on Impact Wrestling. Uh, a, a match. These. I don't think they're going to be teasing a match if if they're not going in that direction. You know, that's the way pro wrestling works. So they're they're teasing a match. They're they're the the face to face confrontation. The little tease. I think they're going in that direction, you know. And if they don't go, I'd be very disappointed. But man, I am I'm psyched up for this. I'm psyched up. This was, in my opinion, you know, a lot of people might disagree with me, but in my opinion, this was the moment of the night when Impact Wrestling does their top five moments of the night or for for Impact Wrestling. That moment, if I was in charge, that moment would be number one. That would be the number one moment. Josh Alexander face to face with Kenny Omega. It's just, just, just fantastic. Absolutely loved it, and I can't wait to see how this progresses. I cannot wait to see how this progresses. You know, and again, I don't know if he's going to cash in option option C. I don't know if it's going to be um, if he's going to have to relinquish the exhibition title. I know uh, Impact Wrestling. Um, it was reported on Fight uh, Fightful, and I think Ringside News that Josh Alexander is going to be getting a bigger push. So maybe the bigger push means you know. Make him the Impact Wrestling World Champion, or give him a shot at Kenny Omega. I I would love to see that Impact Wrestling World Title around Josh Alexander's waist. Absolutely, would love. It. I've been a fan of his for a while. He's been on the show a number of times. Big fan of Josh Alexander. I would love the Impact Wrestling World Title to be around the waist of Josh Alexander. I would love for him to be the one to take the title off Kenny Omega. I would love it. It would be absolutely fantastic. And I hope it happens. Got my fingers crossed. But let's just see how this progresses from here. Um, if it could be a slow build to Bound for Glory, which I'm all for. Again, if he has to prove himself to Kenny Omega and has to defeat Carl Anderson and then Luke Gallows and whoever, maybe um, maybe Kenny Omega brings somebody from AEW uh, to face off against Josh. Uh, however it happens. If Josh has to show up on AEW and and um, confronts Kenny Omega there, however it happens, I just hope it happens, and I'm looking forward to it happening, and I'm looking forward to the build to Bound for Glory, if in fact that's the direction they're going. Again, I just want to make it very, very clear that I am just speculating as a fan that this is what I would like to see. Josh Alexander versus Kenny Omega at Bound for Glory. All right, there we go. So I, I said that. So Jay White, let's talk about Jay White. Jay White in Impact Wrestling is also absolutely fantastic. He cut a great promo tonight, was interrupted by Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. He got into a competition with the Good Brothers, and Chris Bay came to his aid. And um, But it's just, just fantastic to see the never open, the New Japan Pro Wrestling never open weight champion, Jay White in Impact Wrestling, and confronting the new Bullet Club confronting old Bullet Club in an Impact Wrestling ring is just freaking phenomenal. No pun intended, AJ Styles. It's freaking phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal. Wow. Just, it's, you know, it's something you wouldn't expect to happen in an Impact Wrestling ring. You know, Bullet Club, Bullet Club, old Bullet Club, new Bullet Club, face to face. They're going at it. Impact Wrestling ring. And uh, Chris Bay, who was offered a spot in Bullet Club, comes to Jay White's um, rescue. So it looks like Chris Bay will uh, be accepting um, will be accepting the spot in Bullet Club from Jay White. He didn't officially announce it today, but uh, it's another great, great moment. Another great moment, uh, Jay White and then um, the Good Brothers going at it uh, in an Impact Wrestling ring. And Jay White says he's there for David Finley. He's got a huge match with David Finley coming up at a Resurgence, New Japan Pro Wrestling Resurgence. Uh, I believe it's in Los Angeles, August 14th. And they, they did a little plug. They put up the tickets, how to buy tickets. And so that's, that's really cool that Impact Wrestling did that. So another great moment with uh, Jay White and the Bullet Club. Well, Jay White is in the Bullet Club. Jay White and the Good Brothers, great, great, um, um, 
great moments, great moment in Impact Wrestling. And uh, it was a really, really good episode today. I Fire and Flavor, uh, unfortunately, they lost their um, their rematch to uh, Rosemary and Havoc. It's been um, reported already that uh, Kara Hogan will be leaving Impact Wrestling. I reported on that earlier today. Um, and it's it's a shame uh, they're going to be breaking up. I'm not sure how the breakup's going to happen. Uh, but um, unfortunately, <clears throat> this is the last set of tapings for Kiara Hogan. Uh, but Impact Wrestling, man. Impact Wrestling, uh, it's the show to watch right now, man. It is the show to watch. Lots of great stuff happening. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta take a drink of water. I was screaming so much for Josh Alexander. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't screaming, but uh, but I did jump up and my you know jump out of my chair. But but uh, yeah, lots of great stuff uh, happening. In Impact Wrestling. Um, get very very excited. Impact Wrestling's got uh, like today was a great show and I'm so pumped for, for the rest of these tapings because because Jay White's involved. Um Chris Bay apparently um looks like he's gonna join the bull club. Uh then Deanna Perrazzo. Deanna Perrazzo accepts Mickey James um invitation to compete in NWA's uh pay per view or women's pay per view in power uh which is going to be uh, very exciting so Deanna Prazo I don't know if she's gonna be in the invitational tournament or if she's gonna be facing somebody for the Impact Wrestling um knockout championship but Deanna Prazo also another great moment uh so Forbidden Door um is open there Deanna Pra Deanna Prazo walking through the through the NWA Impact Wrestling Forbidden Door. I don't think there's forbidden doors anymore in Impact Wrestling. It's it's uh, because it seems like everybody's working together, except the WWE, of course. But it seems like everybody's working together. So I don't think there's any more forbidden doors. It's 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 um, friendly doors, so possible doors, I guess you could call them. They're not forbidden doors anymore. Uh, but NWA Impact Wrestling working together. Mickey James, as I said, um, showed up today. Uh, Gail Kim came out, and and Deanna Prazo, as I said, accepted Mickey James's invitation to compete on the NWA pay-per-view empower the old women's pay-per-view coming up i don't know the exact date i believe it's late august if i'm not mistaken uh i would love to see her defend her title against someone or even if she's in the invitational when's that invitational because whoever wins the invitational on empower the following night they challenge uh camille for the nwa women's title so i would love for diana prazo to win that invitational and then go on to challenge camille for the nwa women's championship that would be just fantastic so lots of great stuff happening for impact wrestling right now if you're an impact wrestling fan like i am it's time to get very 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 excited and if you're not an impact wrestling fan you should be right now because lots of great stuff coming from impact wrestling in the next couple of weeks and i just can't wait and on that note i'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today i'm lewis Collin. this is the alliance pro wrestling network podcast and until next time thank you very much take care bye-bye stay safe everyone so long bye-bye